tonight. From U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As this crowd rolled into U.S. Bank Stadium, they were bundled up, jackets and scarves, downright cold outside on this November evening. But all good here inside as we welcome you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? former Utah Ute Matt Gay to get this one started. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here are the Vikings to go on offense for the first time. And it's a rookie at the helm, the 10th overall pick back in April out of Michigan, J.J. McCarthy. And during the entire pre-draft runoff, when people talked about J.J. McCarthy, you heard three words mentioned over and over again. Accurate, efficient, winner. 27-1 as a starting quarterback at Michigan and won a national title in his final season. But there's more to him than just that. This is a supreme athlete, a supreme competitor with a bigger arm than people understand. I expect him to be very successful as a starting quarterback. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's a tap forward by McCarthy on the touch pass. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. McCarthy off to play fake. He'll find Jones again, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11, first down. Well, we know he can run the football too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards that time. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 27. Stick him with a pass, here's McCarthy. They're going back to the same well, it's Hawkinson again. And he's gonna be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 
That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game, like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master surgeon at work. Now a first down carry by Jones. He takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Jones. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Looking to throw McCarthy. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Samson Abukum in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. This from 36 yards out. And his kick is good. And the Vikings have a 3-0 lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And the returner down to a knee, and this will come out to the 30-yard line. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback. Finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, make no mistake about it, they have lofty the expectations of this young man, and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. First and ten, it's Richardson. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. Richardson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Give him two on the play there. And that'll be good for an Indianapolis first. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did.
Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. He'll get this one to Pittman. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And Taylor going to pick up the Colts first down as he'll take this up close to midfield. It's a seven-yard gain there and it's good enough to move the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Richards into the air on first down. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second down and a little more than a yard here. <laughs> Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Again, it's Taylor. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Not only is a slant route really difficult to cover, it's a real staple play for an offense on a fourth down because it's a quick hitting play. Get the ball in the hands of the quarterback right to the receiver. And the receiver has to be ready because that thing's coming on a rope. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Now it's Richardson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Second and a couple. Richardson working from the gun as this complete to Woods. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. First and 10, here's Richardson with it. 
He's got some room to operate, and he gets it all the way down to the three. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. the middle here's Taylor and he's into the end zone touchdown Indianapolis Jonathan Taylor a three yard touchdown run and the Colts have taken the lead and the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor he's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come and he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and six now. From the shotgun, McCarthy. And Jones has it over the middle. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up third and one. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. Now McCarthy. A quick throw there is incomplete. The yeah, offense has always tried to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. So on fourth down, Ryan Wright on to punt for Minnesota.
That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On first down, Richardson. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and picks up positive yardage. Richardson now on second down. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Richardson looking to throw this. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Richardson looking to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. And this taken in by Downs. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Richardson to throw. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman in the final seconds of the first half. And the Colts would extend their lead here just before halftime. And this drive, Charles, very well timed as they score with very little time remaining in this first half. And I'm reminded that they get the second half kickoff as well, so they can break this one wide open 
before the other guys have a chance to possess the football. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. Four seconds, all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away. This taken in right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big-time factor in that first half. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. for the second half 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 out come the Colts they'll have it first here to start quarter number three well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. But well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Here's second and ten. Now a give to Taylor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Let's go 
Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Second and six. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And this is going to be a Colts first down as good running gets him to about the 44. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And they'll go to the air now with Richardson. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and 10, Taylor now. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. Second down and a yard. It's a jet sweep. This is Pittman. And Pittman going to have a Colts first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it's enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. That complete to Downs. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the night. And the Colts take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Gay is on for the point after. And it's 21 to 3. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Yeah. 
After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second down and eight. They'll go again to Jones. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's McCarthy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They're going to empty the backfield here, so you know this ball's likely to come out quick. They let the four outside receivers run deeper routes, and then let the tight end just make a beeline across the formation. He's able to make the catch and turn it into good yardage and a first down. On play action, McCarthy. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. McCarthy, he'll set to throw it. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second down, another run with Taylor. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That is caught. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First target, first catch, and a first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. 
their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Richardson. This pass left side to Downs. And the Colts are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Anthony Richardson, a four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Colts are able to stretch out their lead. What a call there on the quarterback draw. You want to spread the field and just tell your QB, hey, find a lane and go. And he's able to get the defense in a vulnerable spot and then take it into the end zone. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Anthony Richardson who took it into the end zone to finish things off. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That throw right on the money from the quarterback from Michigan. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing is McCarthy. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now a second and ten. McCarthy operating from the gun. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, 
They don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll go play action. Here's McCarthy. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that'll be incomplete as it's knocked away. But a penalty flag is down. So who's this going to be on? Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. To the air with McCarthy. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. McCarthy to throw on second down. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And it'll be a third and about 13. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. The Vikings on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is gonna be third and 13. To the air again, McCarthy. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up fourth down. Let's just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who, what, what defense you're in. That was totally a blown coverage. He's got his target. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down. Trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted. And they did. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Throwing again, McCarthy. He gets it to Addison. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. They'll look to throw again. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here. That pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield.
Dickin with a pass. Here's McCarthy. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Jordan Addison from three yards out. And the Vikings are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So on this drive, the rookie leads him into the end zone, Charles, and that helps cancel out the points that were created on the previous drive when he threw the interception. Yeah, let's give some credit to this rookie because instead of hanging his head after his mistake leads to a touchdown, he comes back out and he's firing and made up for it right there. A well-executed series helps reestablish some confidence in him to run this offense. Extra point right down the middle, and the lead is down to 28-10. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And Jordan Addison capped it off with a touchdown catch. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And this is going to be taken in by the Colts. the handoff Taylor and he gets this to the 35 good for a gain of five I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W in the mind of the play caller all you want to hear is tick 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 ball on the 35 here comes second and five They run once more with Taylor. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 82 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. This is Taylor, and he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is to play in this stadium, how hyped up that crowd's going to be. They just used it as fuel, came in full of confidence, believed in themselves, and got it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Minneapolis, good night, everybody.